hey guys welcome back to another vlog i hope you guys are doing fabulous today big up big up big up who messaged me nobody wanted to message me until i started vlogging why <laughs> oh it's my credit card company. anyway welcome back to the vlog guys i am in where will be eventually my office well it is the office space it's just not ready yet but this is where i've been sitting down and doing my wig review videos i have a desk right here so i have this chair and I'm just editing right now. So I'm editing a Vlogtober day number 10, which you would have seen before this one. This here is a Vlogtober day number 11. So today is October 10, but I'm filming Vlogtober day number 11. It sounds confusing, but I think it works out so well. Having a vlog in the back makes it so much easier, guys, because you would have noticed you're getting the vlogs earlier now and i am less distressed out i'm more relaxed so i think taking that break to go live was a good decision right uh but yeah i can't wait to get this space set up because i like the idea of having a dedicated workspace i think it makes me feel more so much more productive i'm sitting on my hands by the way i'm sitting on my hands because i noticed that i gesticulated so much i am all the time and i i need to not cut it out completely but i need to reduce how much i use my hands when i speak so i'm trying to mentally be aware and trying to control it so i'm starting with sitting on my hands and i'm going to see if i can kind of cut it out but yeah i really want to get this space set up because i love just sitting getting up sitting at my desk i have a glass of kombucha that's what i'm drinking this morning but i love having a dedicated workspace it makes me feel so much more productive uh so i've edited one vlog already which was a hair video i know i'm editing i'm finishing up the final touches on the vlog already number 10 that i'll upload it to youtube and you guys should get that vlog latest 12 p.m and i think that is good that is exemplary so yeah you should get that this well you would have seen it already but the vlog should go up really early and i'm happy about that today is going to be it's so gloomy outside it, today's going to be like i just had chill girls day today's going to be a girls girls day so we're going to hang out I need to get my nails done. I told you that going on the cruise, I was going to do my press on nails. Girl, I did not do that. And I felt so relaxed on that trip that I didn't even care that my nails looked chamba chamba. <laughs> I want to do a fall inspired set. And by fall inspired, I mean like the color, like brown, brown, chocolate brown or something to that. Something light and nice. I did screenshot something. Let me see this. Um, so something like that is what I want to do. It's like the brown with the, is that beige or something like that? Or I could do white. It could be the brown with the white, but no, maybe I'll just keep it just the way it is. So then I need to go to Ulta because I need to get foundation. And some other things for my makeup bag. I have a lot of returns that I need to do. So I have returns for Marshall, Ross, Target. Uh, so yeah. I have a few little errands that I need to run today. So let me finish with my editing. Upload your video. Your Vlogtober video. Send over this other hair video to the brand. Which is this wig. Guys, when you see this video, you're going to love this wig. It's from OMG Her Hair. And I really like it. From the day I laid it down... I haven't really done anything much to the lace, but maybe today I need to probably dab dab, tap a little thing and make it work. But this here is so nice. So that's the video I'm going to send over to them for them to approve. And then I can start the day. Guys, I made it to my nail appointment. So I'm just going to run it in. Hopefully he doesn't have anybody in his chair and I can just go in and out. I may do a pedicure. I'm not sure because my toes, my toenail doesn't look bad at all i could take a scrub i could take a foot scrub but the toes they don't look bad but guys i did this half up half down with my wig and i think it looks so cute uh it's not the neatest because i didn't spend time i didn't use any hairspray or anything i just zoops catch it up and 
leave the back down so i have a little ponytail up top i'm not the girl that usually try things with my wigs i'm very standard you know me it's a center part straight or curly or kinky but it's a center part and that's it i don't do much but oh white water nail girls leave let me go in and make sure my guy is still there to do my nails But when I called, they didn't even bother saying that to me, so I didn't know that he was here. So anyway, it was a new guy that did my nails. I don't love how he shaped them. I don't think because my nail bed is very, it's different from everybody else. Well, it's special. <laughs> my nail bed is, I have like a hump in it. So they would usually tell me that my nail look like I already have acrylic on because it's not flat, you know? Anyway. I'm not really in love with them when I park up I'll show you I'm on my way to Ulta right now so a while ago I had to run to the gym to drop off something to Boo so the guy at the front desk every single time we would go to the gym together me and Boo we would talk and everything so he knows me you know so when I went there you now I'm like I'm here to see my husband I'm not logging in he was talking to me just regular so I'm like oh, okay when I went to Boo, talked about everything and leaving, he's like, I'm so sorry, I didn't even recognize you outside of you. I'm like, outside of my gym attire? <laughs> it's so weird because even when you would go to like high school or even you're in the workplace, you, when you see your co-workers or your schoolmate outside of their uniform, they look so different. So I guess that's the, that's the experience he had with me. But yeah, since I'm parked up, I can show you the nails. Hold on yes so these are them i think they're okay i think he did the style but i definitely think the style looked better on the model or the hand model or whomever the person that had the style uh i think too i went shorter which i should not have gone shorter because with a style like this you do need to be able to see the style uh but overall listen i am not the person that if i do my nails and i don't like them i'm going to tell the nail tech nope i just take the l pay my money and get out of there and either redo them or just stay with them live with them so that's what i did i paid him i tipped him head out anyway i'm going to run inside Ulta, and there's a burlington over this shopping center as well i don't think i went to burlington since last year it. I think I don't, yeah, I don't want to Burlington since last year. I'm doing really well because after I did all the shopping vlogs and stuff for Christmas, I said to myself that I'm not doing a lot of shopping in the new, oh no, a lie. A lie. I went to Burlington when I was going to Jamaica, so in June. So yeah, I can say that, 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 that not normal. All right, guys, I'm going to run inside Ulta. I'm going to pick up my foundation. I'm going to pick up foundation. I need eyebrow pencil. I need lip gloss. And there's a few little knick snacks. A few of you were asking me about these shades. They're from Amazon. I leave the link. I love them because they're the Prada dupes. And I really wanted to get the Prada shades when I went to Atlanta last year. But then I just couldn't justify spending $500 on glasses. I couldn't justify like a purse, a handbag. Yes, because I love handbags. But glasses that i change all the time and i don't really wear it that often because most of the time I, i'm in my prescription glasses but yeah spending 500 dollars on a designer frame i don't know i don't know i don't know because i think it's the same thing just with the logo on it so the only difference is the prada would be right here which cute but is it 500 dollars cute <laughs> people always ask me like kim how your budget for how your budget for like trips or things like that and i don't the thing is i'm not terrible with money i'm not terrible with money it seemed that way it seemed it may seem that way but honestly i don't think i'm terrible with the money so that's the reason i do important things like i think spending money to travel 
it's worth it the experience is worth it but spending five hundred dollars on that glasses for me that's not priority that i think you work hard for your money you should definitely be spending it on luxury but luxury looks different for everybody luxury for me may be a nice purse a handbag luxury for me maybe may be traveling to a new country somewhere new luxury for you maybe buying designer clothes and designer frames and i did say i am going to stop being so expressive with my hands i mean i like nice things so if i have the money wagga wagga then i'll spend it wagga wagga but if i don't then certain things i just don't spend it on and i don't get red eye and when i say red eye meaning yes yeah, somebody may have something it looks really nice but i don't necessarily have to have it especially if i can't afford it let's go into ulta <laughs> Changing the toilet paper does not cause brain damage, okay? And this one, all I need today is a little coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. So like a rough day. Give God your weakness and he will give you his strength. These are so nice. Guys, it started to rain. It was a really good shopping day. I walked around, you know Burlington. Once you go in Burlington, you'll spend hours walking around. So I didn't, I didn't even look at any clothes or so i went to the home section i went to the cosmetics the cosmetics section and i had to remind myself came here on punishment no body scrubs no lotion no shower body wash mm, zit nothing so i was a good girl and i didn't get anything that i didn't need should i show you guys there's a haul no there's a car haul no let me wait till oh shit. <gasps> okay let me wait until I get home because I am so hungry. I feel lightheaded. I don't eat a thing from morning. Hungry. So I'm going to go to Just Salad because I haven't eaten a salad in weeks. Weeks. It's terrible. And I bought things to juice. I don't juice them yet. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes sometime you're in the mood and sometimes you're not in the mood. Sometimes you just just want to live I let me run over there and grab something to eat because they don't have a drive-thru and the rain is going to come down harder I'm going to do a build your own salad okay may I have some sweet potatoes please okay cucumbers corn and avocado let me try that chicken yeah okay guys so let me show you what i picked up from all the time it wasn't not, not much really i got my cotton rounds because i can't find them for some reason and then i got some lashes from kiss this is a so wispy 
and then i got the look so natural i like this one for every day so simple i'm going to film a q a you guys been sending me questions on instagram some out of pocket questions too you know but yeah i'm going to do a life update q a type of video so if you have any questions if you didn't send me anything on instagram you can comment it on this video i'll be recording that so i needed some lashes i also needed my makeup sponges i like these one from elf and i also got this concealer sponge too this is a good i use this for the under eye area it works really well this was a last minute pickup hand sanitizer i saw this at the cash register then i got this lip gloss from l'oreal i thought it was pretty it's colored and it's a pinky i think i'm now back into a pinky lip with with my lip glasses so i got oh it's so pretty it's just not too much but just enough so i think that is pretty and it'll put a nice little tint on my lips so i got this one it is the number 90 rosy utopia then the eyebrow pencil that I love to use right now, I'm using the one from Sephora, the Sephora brand eyebrow pencil. It's okay, but I really love the one from NYX in Expresso. It's your micro brow pencil and I just love how it makes my eyebrows look. And then finally, I got my foundation. It's from L'Oreal as well. It's so funny. This, I think it's the exact dupe for my NARS soft matte foundation and this is way cheaper so i find myself using this more than i would use my higher end foundation like the one i got yes i when i got the one from um i think i got it when i went to atlanta that was the last year october uh anastasia or anastasia beverly hills foundation and i used that probably twice the most three times i do not like the foundation at all and i paid so much for it and this i think it was what, like ten dollars let me see how much for this foundation. This is only $17, guys. Comparing to $50, $60, $70, I think that is not too bad. And I got this in 510. Uh, it's, I think it's a little bit darker for my complexion, but at the same time, I like to highlight with my concealer. So it works out good. So I like that. And that is all I got from Ulta. Then, in a Berlin town, I didn't get much but i really liked this piece guys really love it i love the color and it just reminds me of something high end like i would pick this up at like west elmar rh or one of those higher end uh stores i think i'm going to use it and it was only ten dollars i think i'm going to use this like in my office when i do some like either shelving or whatever i know it will come in eventually so i grabbed it this is like from burlington uh oh facial facial razors so i can shave my eyebrows i don't want to get anybody to do my eyebrows i just clean them up myself and then i think i showed you this when i was recording it smells so good even coming out of the bag it is this candle i think it's so it's so minimal and it says thankful and it's a uh, apple honey crisp and it was a six dollars guys so i'm going to put this in the kitchen with thanksgiving coming up i think this would be so nice in the kitchen it just says thanks thankful and it smells really nice and then finally i got this little christmas tree i don't know why i like this but it was the only one i have this thing about me when i see something and it's the only one on the shelf i'm inclined to pick it up so i got this little christmas tree guys it's so cute let me show you good i just think it's really nice i wish it was a little bit taller but i'm going to i would love to find another type of these kind of ceramic looking christmas trees and then i would layer it so this one and then a taller one so i grabbed this as well it was five dollars and that's all that i got in the store right now i'm going to go ahead and eat my salad for the salad i just did a build your own I did the build your own plates, so I just got some random, not really random, but I got what I wanted in it instead of just getting something from off the menu. So this is it. I got lettuce, avocado, chickpeas, sweet potato, some corn, what else in this? And the chicken thighs. So it looks nice and healthy. And then for the dressing, I got the, avoc the spicy avocado dressing. So that's it. No, I'm just going to 
do some orange juice no pineapple juice this one is from Lakewood their pineapple juice so this is what I'm going to have today probably find something to watch and yeah anyway guys I don't have anything else to add to today's vlog I don't have anything else to say so I'm going to end it right here I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog love you all and I'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>